We begin with the coronavirus and the classroom. Thousands of kids across Pima County start heading back to school this week. News 4 Tucson, Shelly Jackson joining us live with more. Shelly, good afternoon. Well, hi, Priscilla. This could be the best back to school ever. Students have missed their friends and missed the class. So have teachers and parents. They just need a break. Both Marana and Salarita districts started back to school today. Both districts are also offering an alternate uh, remote learning program, although the program hasn't uh, had a lot of enrollees just quite yet. Salarita Unified School District District is offering a full online program for students who aren't ready to return in per to in-person learning yet. So far, just over 200 students have enrolled. Marana's dist distance learning program is self-paced, and so far a very small number of students have enrolled in that. It's open to grades 4 through 12. Most of Marana's stud students are back in the classroom, as well as Salaritas. And for students and teachers, it makes it difficult to social distance the recommended three feet. We're implementing the, the mitigation strategies to the greatest extent that's possible, making every effort, good faith effort, to, to, to be cognizant of the importance of distancing and, and creating separation, and yet providing an environment that's conducive to learning. We're doing the best that we can within, the, within our classroom settings. Our administration is following the CDC guidelines, and we are recommending that teachers and students wear masks regardless of vaccination status when they are in classrooms, though of course we cannot mandate that. Now, Benjamin is referring to Governor Doug Ducey's law banning mask mandates in the classroom. In a tweet this afternoon, Arizona Superintendent of Public Instruction Kathy Hoffman called the law reckless and short-sighted. She continued, we must take every necessary precaution to protect student health and safety in those classrooms and ensure minimal disruption to the learning process. And of course, all school district officials are keeping their eye on the new Delta variant and the rising number of COVID cases in the county. In Marana, we've got you covered. Shelly Jackson, News 4, Tucson.